All right, uh, good evening. This is Luke Thomas, QuakePrediction.com here at the Earthquake Channel. And uh, it is Tuesday, December 1st at 10.28 in the evening. Tuesday, December 1st, 2020. And first of all, we're going to do a quick review. Uh, in Alaska, uh, southwest of Anchorage, there was a 6.4 earthquake, and south of uh, Anchorage, a 5.7 earthquake. We were calling for a 6.0 earthquake or larger uh, west of Anchorage, and we're still forecasting that. However, these uh, other earthquakes, the 6.4 and the 5.7, uh, are because there's so much energy in that area. So we're still expecting a 6.0 earthquake or larger in the area west of Anchorage. Please look at the maps over quickprediction.com. Click on the Anchorage forecast. And then in California, we were expecting a significant earthquake between uh, 4.0 and 5.0 earthquake, uh, and uh, we got a 5.1. Actually, got a lot of strong earthquakes, a 5.1, 4.3, 4.3, 4.5, 4.3, and a bunch of threes and a bunch of twos, so a lot of quakes. And those were in uh, east-central California and west-central Nevada. Our forecast is from northwest of uh, Los Angeles up to Ridgecrest, so it hit just outside of that. Um, but definitely some strong, uh, strong uh, earthquakes there. All right, we're still expecting, the warning is still continuing for northwest of Los Angeles up to Ridgecrest along the Garlock Fault, uh, and that'll continue through the 2nd of uh, December through Wednesday. Uh, please look at the maps again at quakeprediction.com. You'll see that there's a, a line of risk extending from northwest of LA up to Ridgecrest. So um, still expecting something along there uh, during the next 24 hours, even though we did get this large uh, earthquake up in uh, East Central California. So still the risk is still there. And just as it is up in Anchorage, the risk is uh, still high for a 6.0 earthquake or larger west of uh, Anchorage during the next 24 hours. And um, I haven't been able to... Uh, get a lot of the forecast done. Washington looks, uh, the Seattle-Washington forecast looks pretty quiet. Uh, Cyprus, uh, things are starting to uh, heat up in the Mediterranean area there. Um, it looks like uh, 4.0 or something. 4.0 to 4.5 earthquake will hit in northeast Syria. And the same thing in uh, southeast Greece and the southwest uh, Turkey. And we'll just do a quick uh, review of the uh, other cities that we do have online here. Um, again, down in southeast Greece, we should get a 4.5 or so in the next couple of days. And uh, Peru, in the southern portion of Peru, there's a 75% risk there. And Italy, down near Sicily and Catania, 4.0 uh, in that area. And then in Tokyo, Japan, uh, a significant earthquake of 4.0 to 5.5 is likely in the Tokyo area in the next uh, 24 to 36 hours. You can see that map. Uh, looks like 80% risk just uh, just west and around the Tokyo area. And um, some of these other locations, I know that uh, Taiwan should get something significant, 5.0 larger. Uh, northeast of Taiwan, along those islands uh, in the southernmost por portion of uh, Japan. Um, we need to update some of these other maps, so please stay tuned for the forecast up coming up tomorrow. And if you want to check early, we'll have these maps done uh, tonight, hopefully. And uh, we'll give you an update. You can check uh, before we get the video out tomorrow. You can check the maps at uh, quakeprediction.com for an update in your country. Again, uh, back on November 27th of uh, last month, November 27th, uh, we started a new forecast model. It's very, very exciting. We've been uh, hitting the, uh, the significant earthquakes around the world, and it's very, very accurate. And I think the saying, the holy grail of, I think we broke the code. I think we broke the code to the earthquake prediction after 15 plus years of earthquake uh, research here at quakeprediction.com, I think we uh, 
we figured this out, so please stay with us and we'll keep you informed on any strong earthquakes that will occur within 48 hours uh, in your country. So please stay tuned here at QuakePredictions.com. We will keep you safe and keep you informed about earthquakes. Thank you so much. And please subscribe. And uh, that helps us a lot here at QuakePredictions.com. Thank you so much.